Hey everyone, welcome back to the Money Old Man channel. I'm Josh. I'm Noah. I'm Shmo. And we're back with George Carlin, one of our favorite comics out here. It's going to be the bit, A Place for My Stuff. Looks like 1986. 86. Yeah. Looks young in this one. I would have been out here a little bit sooner, but they gave me uh, the wrong dressing room, and I couldn't find any place to put my stuff. And I don't know how you are, but I need a place to put my stuff. So that's what I've been doing back there. Just <laughs> the guy to... in the back. Yeah! 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 Places for stuff. To find a place for my stuff. You know how important that is. That's the whole. That's the whole meaning of life, isn't it? Trying to find a place for your stuff. That's all your house is. Your house is just a place for your stuff. If you didn't have so much goddamn stuff, you wouldn't need a house. <laughs> you could just walk around all the time. That's all your house is. It's a pile of stuff with a cover on it. You see that when you take off in an airplane and you look down and you see everybody's got a little pile of stuff. Everybody's got their own pile of stuff. <laughs> And when you leave your stuff, you got to lock it up. You wouldn't want somebody to come by and take some of your stuff. They always take the good stuff. They don't bother with that crap you're saving. Ain't nobody interested in your fourth grade arithmetic papers. They're looking for the... It reminds me because I have, like, up in my closet, I have all of my college shit. I haven't thrown out a single shit from college at all, and it's just all up there. Just, I'll probably never look at it again. <laughs> Nobody interested in your fourth grade arithmetic papers. <laughs> They're looking for the good stuff. That's all your house is? It's a place to keep your stuff while you go out and get more stuff. <laughs> now, sometimes, sometimes you've got to move. You've got to get a bigger house. Why? Too much stuff. <laughs> you've got to move all your stuff. And maybe put some of your stuff in storage. Now imagine that. There's a whole industry based on keeping an eye on your stuff. <laughs> Enough about your stuff. Let's talk about other people's stuff. Did you ever notice when you go to somebody else's house, you never quite feel 100% at home? You know why? No room for your stuff. <laughs> somebody else's stuff is all over the place. And what awful stuff it is. Where did they get this stuff? And if you have to stay overnight at someone's house, you know, unexpectedly, and they give you a little room to sleep in that they don't use that often, someone died in it 11 years ago, <laughs> and they haven't moved any of his stuff. <laughs> or wherever they give you to sleep, usually right near the bed, there's a dresser, and there's never any room on the dresser for your stuff. Someone else's shit is on the dresser. <laughs> Have you noticed that their stuff is shit and your shit is stuff? <laughs> Get that off of there. Now, now, sometimes you go on vacation, you gotta bring some of your stuff with you. You can't bring all your stuff. Just the stuff you really like. The stuff that fits you well that month. Let's say you're going to go to Honolulu. You're going to go all the way to Honolulu. You've got to take two big bags of stuff. Plus your carry-on stuff, plus the stuff in your pockets. You get all the way to Honolulu and you get in your hotel room and you start to put away your stuff. That's the first thing you do in a hotel room is put away your stuff. Now I'll put some stuff in here, put some stuff down there. Here's another place for some stuff here. I'll put some stuff over there. You put your stuff over there. I'm putting my stuff over here. Here's another place for some stuff. Hey, we've got more places than we've got stuff. We're going to have to buy more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. We need That's more stuff. So when you go, when you go to wherever you are, like I need to get some souvenirs. I need something. Dude, I need more stuff. Dude, yeah. it's, it's like, it's like we're we're gonna try to start decorating here a little more to make it look nicer. But we need stuff to to fill the empty spaces yeah. that are up here. That's what I was doing. Uh, I moved because of all this COVID stuff. I moved to Tahoe, and then I got to like my old room, and I was like. I don't like any of this stuff. Like, I got rid of, like, all my old things, but then, like, when you look at a room and it's, like, empty, I have, like, a bed, a dresser, and I'm just like, well, I gotta put stuff somewhere. I need like, more stuff. On, on the walls or something. Like, I definitely agree. We're gonna have to buy more stuff. And you put all your stuff away, and you know that you're thousands of miles from home, and you don't quite feel at ease, but you know that you must be okay, because you do have some of your stuff with you. And you relax in Honolulu on that basis. 
That's when your friend from Maui calls and says, Hey, why don't you come over to Maui for the weekend? Spend a couple of nights over here. Oh, shit, no. Now what stuff do you bring? <laughs> right, you've got to bring an even smaller version of your stuff. Just enough stuff for a weekend on Maui. <laughs> And you get over, and you're really spread out now. You've got shit all over the world. <laughs> you've got stuff at home, stuff in storage, stuff in Honolulu, stuff in Maui, stuff in your pockets. Supply lines are getting longer and harder to maintain. <laughs> but you get over to your friend's house in Maui, and they give you a little place to sleep, and there's a little window ledge or some kind of a small shelf, and there's not much room on it, but it's okay because you don't have much stuff now. <laughs> and you put what stuff you do have up there, you put your imported French toenail clippers. Your odor readers with the 45-day guarantee, your cinnamon-flavored dental floss, and your Akron 12-hour decongestant nasal spray. And you know you're a long way from home, you know that you must be okay because you do have your Akron 12-hour decongestant nasal spray. <laughs> and you relax in Maui on that basis. That's when your friend says, hey, I think tonight we'll go over the other side of the island and stay at my friend's house overnight. Oh, no. Now, what do you bring? Now you just bring the things you know you're going to need. Money, keys, comb, wallet, lighter, hanky pen, cigarettes, contraceptives, Vaseline, whips, chains, whistles, dildos, and a book. Dildos? <laughs> dildos? Oh, oh don't worry. Good. <laughs> I love it whips, chains, yeah. still though. I love how he like he just gets so animated and so passionate about it, and it just becomes funnier and funnier because you're just sitting there hearing him like, like rattle off this list, and you're just it's yeah. like enticing. You know what it is? It's it's he um he has like this build up right, and it gets faster and faster yeah. and more intense, and you're getting closer and closer. Yeah. Like oh, what's going to happen? It's like he's it, his his ability to capture your attention and literally not. Like let it slip away at yeah. any given moment. That's he's, what I love. He's talking about like all this stuff is just like get me stressed out. It's like so <laughs> much shit. I'm looking around my room, I'm like fuck, I got so much shit. Like so much stuff. Oh they my god, stuff. I got stuff. Not I shit. Have shit. Yeah, you have you, shit. You, you have, have a lot of shit. Yeah. yeah. I got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> shit. Full of stuff. His stuff. His shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, as always, George Carlin, popular on this. Uh, for us, we like George Carlin. This was a good bit too. Yeah. Very short. Um, I think this might be the shortest George Carlin bit we've done. Yeah. Usually they're more like 10, 12, 15 yeah. minutes. This was only five minutes. I hope we got the right bit. I'm sorry if we did not. Yeah. Um, I we, looked it up. There was four bits with five minutes and 11 seconds. So I just assume this is the right one. Yeah. So that's the one we chose. And hopefully we didn't fuck it up. By the way, if this sounds a little weird, I think it's the video. It's not us. We didn't change anything or screw anything up. Uh, besides that, if you have any other George Carlin, go ahead and leave in the comment section below. If you have anything else you want to react, uh, want us to react to, go ahead and leave it there as well. If you see someone comment something you like, I want to see them react to that too. Give it a like, increase the popularity, bring it to the top so we can see it. Um, go ahead and hit our link tree if you want to go to our socials or anything of that nature. There might be something uh, new in there. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know. You never know. We might find uh, Schmel will post when he's streaming on Twitch and stuff like that. And same with Josh and. Uh, besides that, uh, like, comment, Probably subscribe. Probably not on the link tree, but I'll, I'll post it somewhere. <laughs> well, no, 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 you'll tweet or you like, put we'll it on Instagram Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, so, socials, yeah, on yes. the socials. Uh, besides that, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when the next video drops. And thanks for stopping by the Millennial Men channel. Peace. Peace. Huh!